In this lesson, we are going to talk about version control. It is a feature that StreamSets provides for maintaining pipelines. Pipelines and fragments can be versioned. They work the following way. Control Hub maintains version numbers for every commit. So, anytime a pipeline is published from a draft state, a new version is committed. You can also provide a commit message at the time of publishing. Moreover, multiple versions may exist for a particular pipeline. As a developer, you can go back and choose to branch from a specific version. Let's say you are working with version 2. A V1 and a V2 were previously created, and now you can go back to your V1 and branch from there and continue your development from that branch. Control Hub will maintain the version and will create a version 1.1, for example. You can also add tags when viewing a list of pipeline versions. It is called tagging. You can tag pipeline versions. Further on, we will see it in the demo as well. As it has been mentioned earlier, both pipelines and pipeline fragments can be versioned. The flow works the following way. We start with a draft pipeline, and once we are done with the development of a draft pipeline, we publish it. Suppose that you start pipeline development and make sure that you have validated, previewed it, and have done a test run. Finally, you are ready to publish it. Next, you publish your pipeline in order to run a job. Notice that it is very important to publish the pipeline. As a result, a version 1 of the published pipeline will exist. You can continue developing and editing from the version 1 pipeline. But if you go back and edit it, a version 2 will be created. Thus, you can continue down that path. Even so, you can go back to version 1 after version 2 is published, edit that version, and continue editing that draft. So version 1.1, basically a branch, will be created. Therefore, you can continue developing on that branch. We are going to see that as an example later on. Furthermore, we can see here the history, commit messages, and when they were committed. We can also do diffs of a pipeline, that is to say compare the changes between the version 3 and version 2. Thus, we can select these two versions and do a diff. You will be able to see that in the demo as well. Now it is time to do the demo. Let's go into a new pipeline. Here is a new pipeline. As you see, we have created a new blank pipeline and we are going to add some basic stages. Go to Select Origin, scroll down and select Dev Data Generator. We will start with this data generator. Go to Select New Destination to connect, scroll down and select Trash. Move it to the trash. Here is our basic pipeline. All in all, we have gone through the development process of validating, previewing, and testing. Now we are ready to check the pipeline in. The development is completed, and we are going to check the pipeline in so that we can run a job. Check-in is very important. Jobs can be run only against checked-in or published pipelines. Move to the Commit Message field and call it New Pipeline, Initial Commit. Select, Publish, and Create New Job. Now it is time to create a job out of this pipeline. We don't need to indicate anything in this section as all the settings are default. So we will just click Next. As you can see, we will use the version 1 pipeline. Let's start and monitor the job. You should now see that the pipeline is in production and a job has been started. Now it is time to go back. Suppose that we want to make a change to the pipeline. You need to go back and edit the latest version of the pipeline. Select Edit latest version of pipeline in the edit menu. As you can see, a V2 draft is created. It is not checked in yet, as it is in the draft mode. Suppose that we want to change the name. Select the data generator icon, go to the name field and call it random data generator. As for the trash item, we want to proceed the same way and change the item name to trash. Once the changes are made, it is time to check in the pipeline. We need to go to the commit message field and call it minor label changes. And here is an awesome feature of the control hub that we need to highlight. On a running job, we can publish this change and update any jobs that are related to this pipeline. All you need to do now is select publish and update. Here we can see the job we have just run. We can choose to update and give that job the latest version because right now the job is running the original V1 published version of the pipeline. 
Tick the job for version pipeline demo and select Update. Now it is updated. We can close this window and see those updates being propagated. Moving over to the Jobs section in the menu, we will see the new version of the pipeline. It is in the upgrading status. Notice that eventually these messages will disappear. So now we can refresh it. As you can see, the pipeline is in running status as it has been upgraded. You should now see that there is a new V2 pipeline. So let's go back to the pipeline section. Suppose that we want to make further changes. Click on the version pipeline demo. Assuming we want to go back to V1. Click on the versions menu and scroll to V1. Now select edit from the menu. Notice that there is a V1.1 draft. Now we are going to go back and add a processor. Let's go to the search field and find a processor that we need. Suppose that we want to add this one. Since this is a demonstration, you can choose any type of processor. Link these objects accordingly. Now it is time to check this pipeline in. Move over to the commit message field and indicate updated pipeline, then publish and update it. As we see, there are no jobs to be updated because we have no jobs using version one of the pipeline. Thus, we don't need to create a new job and we can just skip and close it. How can we check that a pipeline has been published? Notice that a published pipeline icon will be green. We can create a separate job out of this pipeline. If we want to use this pipeline in the existing job, we should go back to the jobs section. Here you can see an indicator saying that a new version of the pipeline is available. So, we can select and update it. Now, suppose that we want to downgrade. As you can see, there is a pipeline V2 and we want to come down to V1.1. So it is time to do the update. Finally, we can see that the pipeline has been updated. That is how we do versioning in stream sets. Thanks for being with us. Now it's time for you to try it yourself.